So I might have lucked out with uh, when it comes to unlocking mobile phones with this HTC Touch Dual. Uh, but things are not going to be that easy with this BlackBerry. Uh, this thing is called uh, BlackBerry 870V and uh, I don't really know why it's called that because when I search online it when I search online for this uh, model it shows me a different uh, well at least a different fascia and shape altogether uh, this thing is known to also be called an 8707 or an 8700V from Vodafone, but anyway, I digress. Let's just uh, open it up and show you what I have found inside. It's working rather roughly because the battery is swollen and, uh, well, it's not looking that good. The screen, the well, the glass itself, the glass panel, or rather the plastic panel is cracked on top of the screen and it has some wear and tear here and there on the edges and it's, well, it's plastic fantastic all the way. If this is Blackberry Genesis or, or rather its path to the golden era, I'm not really that impressed in terms of build quality. But anyway, here it is, the 87, no, actually it's called the 8700V, so a mistake on my side, sorry about that. Anyway, I can't really do much with this device, but at least I can try to insert a battery, because it uses the exact model as the entry level later offering the BlackBerry 8, uh, 8520 curve or 85 series curve used. So let me just pop this in and try to put the lid back together. Now it's functioning and turn this thing on. Let's see if it works, if it has enough juice in the battery. Okay, so it's gonna boot up and uh, while it does, I just want to mention that uh, the only thing that this device has going for it, it's top-notch ergonomics and, well, not, not in the least the uh, very intuitive, safe to use, security uh, infused OS. But other than that, the device itself is, well, it's cheaply made, it's clunky even for its time, which was wait for it because <laughs> I'm not really uh, all that prepared for this video well it's about 2005 isn't it it was announced actually in 2004 but anyway I digress it's almost 20 years old now um, you can see there's no uh, scroll in, in in the middle on top of the QWERTY keyboard, but it does have a scroll wheel here on the side. No camera on the back, but I suspect this is a speaker. Though I don't know what you would like to, what you would want to listen to on this device. Yeah, that's that's well, that's phone cell phone quality in the 2000s for you, in the mid noughties Okay, so it's booting up and that's about as close as we're gonna get with it because it has, it's locked. And as I previously stated, I have basically zero chance of unlocking this without going into a lot of extensive work and research and uh, browsing the forums and stuff like that for which I don't have time. At any rate, I got this thing for two euros, so I can't really complain. Uh, it's an interesting view on what the BlackBerry origin was and has been. And really, I'm, I'm pleased with the purchase, even though I suspect this one will just go into the pit of doom. 
So sorry to say you'll have to um, contempt yourselves with this brief look on the device and to, well, to sample its build quality through this video and hopefully to get more interesting content on weird, quirky and obsolete tech stuff in the next videos. Thanks for watching, please support the channel and see you in the next one. Bye bye.